This is Witchbase News for Friday the 21st of July 2023 ...I'm Commander Burr. In Elite Dangerous news this week ...Frontier announced the release date for update 16 to the game there's confusion over last weeks community goal weapon rewards, a breadcrumb trail opens up pointing to the missing dedicant megaship and more. As always if you enjoy our videos please do hit the like button and if you haven't already be sure to subscribe and click the little bell so you don't miss any of our Elite Dangerous content. You can also join our Patreon if you'd like to help directly support our work. Links to that and everything else are below. In game Galnet News announced this week that the weapons resulting from last weeks azimuth centric community goal would be on general release as a tech broker unlock in exchange for some materials from this week onwards. The weapons can be found at all rescue megaships dotted around the bubble as well as what it describes as azimuth biotech core markets. You'll find them in aisle 13 of your local azimart sandwiched between the apples and the hand grenades. There was some initial confusion when those commanders who received them as a reward from the CG noted that the weapons did not include increased armour piercing and distributor draw as was stated in the original CG text last week. Sally was later able to confirm that last weeks text was indeed an error on FDEVs part and that the modules in fact use an altered overcharge modification which adds to their damage output and power draw as well as including the autoloader experimental effect. The first signs of an end to the mystery of what happened to the dedicant megaship surfaced on Galnet this week when late on Thursday it ran a report stating that traces of a distress call from the zealot encrusted megaship had been detected in the LP714-58 system. In case you'd forgotten the dedicant was supposed to be transporting peaceful Thargoid loving Fargod adherents to Alliance space under a federal sponsored armed guard when the ship performed an unscheduled hyperspace jump to who knows where for reasons unknown. Since that disappearance this fragment of a signal is the first that's been heard from the happy clappy insect hugging summer camp ship. I won't say any more for fear of delivering spoilers but suffice to say if you're a fan of the very elite dangerous mechanic of delivering story nuggets through breadcrumb trail cryptic pseudo quests and I have to say that I personally am then I'd recommend heading to the affected system to check it out. Thursday this week was time for Frontiers now once a month livestream Frameshift Live. Whilst there were developer guests on the stream this month in the shape of lead audio designer Robin, graduate gameplay programmer Max and designer Curtis the team weren't present to talk about Elite Dangerous or the imminent update 16. More on that in a moment. Instead they participated in a cryptic quiz that had been set by developer Tom Kuhl that saw the streams host Sally and Arthur officiating. One particularly interesting statistic that did emerge from the quiz there have been over 281,000 Thargoid revenants destroyed since their arrival in the game just a couple of months ago. That particular Odyssey centric segment of the Thargoid invasion clearly proving very popular. With good reason as well as an experience it is undoubtedly one of Odyssey's most atmospheric encounters to date. The real meat of the livestream was, somewhat unusually, toward the start of the broadcast. After the usual twitch drop necessary housekeeping the stream started with a roundup of game dev news and announcements. Sally and Arthur broached the subject of the issue tracker ...not something that had been heavily discussed on FDEV livestreams since Galactic Life settled down somewhat in the last year in particular following the opening dark days of the launch of Odyssey. The team advised that three long standing issues in particular were being closed on the tracker. Those issues which you can see on screen now are anti-aliasing not working correctly, exiting the game occasionally causes a hang and Windows task manager is needed to force close the program and low FPS in Odyssey coinciding with low GPU and CPU utilisation. 
In summary the anti-aliasing issue log was raised some time ago and the game has had a fair few updates since then addressing various anti-aliasing and other graphical issues. The log having had so many contributions in various areas over such a long time seems to have been no longer as specific as it needed to be to make it useful and so the inference I take from what Arthur and Sally were saying was that any future graphical issues would be better served with a log specific to them being raised instead. Exiting the game causing a hang requiring a forced close of the task. There's no clean way to say this. It does look like the company is unable to track this one down specifically and is just closing the log. And with regard to low FPS coinciding with low GPU CPU utilisation the vast majority of Odyssey's framerate issues appear to have now been solved regardless of what the CPU or GPU may or may not be up to. And so once again the devs seem keen that any further specific framerate problems are given their own problem log. The team has added further clarification on these closures in a forum post following the livestream yesterday and you'll find that post linked below this video. The team announced that next week an update was being deployed to the games launcher specifically. Details were light on exactly what the nature of that update would be but as things stand it's scheduled to be pushed out on Monday so watch out for that. Sally and Arthur again confirmed that update 17 is in the works and there's a chance we'll get our first glimpse of that on the next Frameshift live broadcast which is scheduled for the 17th of August. But before of course update 17 arrives we have update 16 and I'm pleased to say that update 16 is now scheduled for the 31st of July. That's just 10 days away as I speak these words. We got our first look at update 16 on last months livestream where a new version of the Hunter class Thargoid could be briefly seen collecting a delicious buffet of escape pods using what appeared to be a Thargoid version of collector limpets, the phrase thimpits quickly being coined by the community afterwards. It was anticipated that content from update 16 would be further teased for this livestream. Sadly that was not forthcoming. All Sally and Arthur would say about update 16 was that some detail would be in the patch notes but that some of it won't be and it's up to the community to explore and find it for ourselves. Did you acquire new Azimuth branded multi cannons in the community goal last week? Will you be following up the trail of the dedicant mega ship? What do you think we'll find waiting for us in update 16? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. We'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then 07 CMDRs follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. We very much look forward to seeing you next time.